Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. I'm going to break the flashing up of the Motorola Photon Q 4G LTE up um, for a few different reasons. Uh, some of the Sprint users might want to see uh, some portions of this because it could apply to them and uh, some might not. And plus you want to go to the section uh, where you're having the problems. Uh, anyways, I got to do this quick because uh, Texans are about to play a football game. Uh, I know I'm going to get some comments saying they suck and all. But uh, this first one will be basically just installing the drivers and getting into Diag mode. Uh, one of the problems when we wanted to flash this in the beginning is that we couldn't find drivers uh, for this actual device. Uh, but we downloaded the most recent ones available on Motorola. I don't think this is going to auto install. I have it in a different port now, a uh, different USB port. But uh, I'll be pretty surprised if. Let's go 3424 pound on the dialer, that's pound pound 3424 pound. I'll be really surprised if this auto installs. Uh, you should be looking at my uh, device manager uh, running as well uh, so I can see uh, what's installing and what's not. Um, you can't just click that. You're going to want to hit the overflow and then edit. And we'll go ahead and click that. And enable. We'll go done. Uh, we heard the little da dunk and you see this comes up right here well uh, you can see how those exclamation marks are there it's because the drivers that we have won't auto install uh, let's go ahead and take this driver out and refresh this scan for hardware changes uh, so this is probably what you'll see Initially, you'll see this trying to configure the drivers. It's going to search Windows Update, and I doubt now, a few months or maybe like a month later, that it's actually going to find these automatically. So, you're going to go to that QC interface. Now, you do have to have the Motorola drivers installed already. Go to Driver. I just double clicked it. You can right click it or whatever you want. Go to Driver Details. I'll well, see no drivers uh, files are required or have been loaded for this device. Go ahead and Go update driver. Browse my computer for driver software. We'll go do this manually. Let me choose or pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Show all devices. Have disk. No, I actually don't want to go have disk. Just let it retrieve all the drivers that are on your computer. It'll probably take a little bit. I'm sorry I've been so busy. And I couldn't get to some of this stuff uh, on the forum. We're just like PBS, or I'm just like PBS. Uh, the more you donate, the more I'm able to get devices and do these videos and such. Got to make money. Okay, let's go down. We're going to find Motorola in the manufacturer list. I have Motorola, Motorola Incorporated, and Motorola Incorporated, Motorola Common Incorporated, period. Uh, don't want that. There's nothing there. Uh, let's go to Motorola Incorporated. Uh, and that's not about either. It doesn't have what I want. Let's go to Motorola. Alright. Let's go down here. I'm going to use Motorola QC Diag port. Right there. We'll go hit next. This driver was also used uh, in the Razer and probably the Bionic and stuff like that. So I'm pretty much just a normal guy that has done some reading. I try to pass this uh, knowledge on to you guys. And boom, we have Motorola QC Diag Port COM15. We'll be able to open this with a bunch of different software, including uh, QBST, the newer versions. And um, what's that other one? CDMA, C not CDMA, Workshop. You probably open it with CDMA Workshop also, but uh, DFS, you'll also be able to open it there. So if you sprint guys just want to load on another PRL or do something like that, this is the first step. you got to get a Diag port. Uh, in some of the other videos, you'll see us uh, doing a lot more, changing the PRL out. Um, we'll also fully flash this to Cricut Wireless, etc. So if this helps you out, please like the video. It helps me out. Uh, visit my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cricket users. Visit my forum at cricketusers.com. And uh, thanks for your time.